All right, we're back here in the bilge in Nihalania, working on the vacuum flush pump. Uh, the kit that I bought is actually called a bellows motor upgrade kit, and uh, you can't just buy the motor to replace it. You got to get uh, you actually get the bellows. There's a couple of blocks here. I'll show you in a second, and we got to take this apart. So we'll see you in the next frame. So included in the kit are the rings that go around the bellows itself. This is kind of a collar that holds it in place. There's a seal and an o-ring here. The seal goes onto the uh, bellows base itself and the o-ring goes around the motor base that goes on top of the bellows base. And you get the bellows itself and not shown is a 12 volt motor that also comes with the kit. Uh, once you're in and you're looking at the motor base here with the uh, bellows base underneath it where the bellows is pumping your lovely additives through. You first start out by removing the four screws to remove the 12 volt motor or 24 volt if your boat has that. Mine's a 12. Then uh, you see the base screws here that hold the motor base to the bellows base and you remove that uh, top motor base off and take the uh, old bellows and collars out. This collar, you got to make sure, secures the top of the bellows itself. And there's a small o-ring that sits inside on the top of the bellows that seals off to the motor base. Um, basically, start out with having latex glove, a garbage sack, lots of paper towels, and a small bucket. Because uh, in my case, because mine failed, I didn't have a way to really pump or clean everything out. So there are some contents in the uh, in the base of the bucket. Or the, be or the bellows pump of base, I should say. So once you get everything out of there, the old bellows, the old collars, the old O-rings, you want to make sure everything's cleaned up right. Like I said, have latex glove, a garbage sack, lots of paper towels, and a bucket to place the old parts or whatever you want to put in there just to kind of contain everything. Put the gloves on, obviously. And then I usually stage everything so that I've got a good spot to uh, have all my tools, uh, the, the rags or paper towels in this case, um, everything kind of set out so you have it all handy because where my bilge is very tight quarters, it's like bilge yoga. So you spend a lot of time maneuvering and you want to have things in place so you don't have to move around too much. I'll spare the gross details, but after you remove the old motor and the old motor base, You'll pull out the old bellows, and like I mentioned earlier, pull out the bellows, the old collar, and both the seals, um, and then you want to clean everything. Um, as I said, I didn't have a very good way to clean out everything before, so you're kind of doing it with contents in the bellows motor base. Clean all of that as much as you can, and then pay attention to mounting back everything in order. The kit does come with instructions. Uh, but I will say that if you stage everything, like I said, it becomes a little easier and you don't do like I did and forget to put the main larger seal into the base before you put it all back together, which I did, and so I've got to pull it apart a second time. Well, basically, once you've got everything out and ready to go back in, you want to seat that collar around the top of the bellows. You'll see like a little ridge around the top of the bellows, which that was too black. Um, pieces the bellows collar snaps around the collar of the bellows itself. Um, before you put those pieces back in place, you're going to want to make sure that large seal is on the top of the bellows base itself. Make sure that's all clean before you put that in there. Once you've got that done, you can then place the bellows with the bellows collar on it, as well as the O-ring, the smaller O-ring, on top of You'll see on the top of the bellows collar, there's a little spot for that to sit into. What I found is that it seals to the motor base, the inside of the motor base, it seals off to that. So it looked to me like it was easier to put that O-ring on the inside ring of the motor base and put it all together. That ended up uh, making it quite easy once I did find the proper sequence of putting it all back together. Other than that, once I did that, and got the motor in place back onto the motor base. Um, I then 
installed connections on the wiring and then reconnected it to the old wiring uh, where it's coming off of the vacuum uh, flush sensor. Um, there's a little micro switch that runs off and holds that uh, vacuum pressure. Other than that, it went back together and tested and everything's good. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps.